So how do you see him fitting into the lineup right now, Dale? Because we've got uh, a lot of guys kind of on the fringe. Um, now that Mete's gone, we've got Brett Kulak there. We've got uh, Merrill, who is just – John Merrill was just added yesterday as well. So in terms of the defense core, how do you see these guys stacking up uh, going down the stretch into the playoffs here for the Habs? Yeah, I, I – I think it's a move Burge had to make. You got to get some depth. Um, you know, Ben's going to come back. Uh, you know, I don't know what the timeline is on him, but when he comes back, you know, hand injuries are really finicky. Um, you know, look at Jonathan Duran when he came back. I know he came back. He was playing for two months and he was telling me, man, I still can't really stick handle. I still can't really do anything. So that's a really delicate thing. So, um, you know, when I look at the D pairings, um, you know, I, I don't want to say, Petrie hasn't played as well uh, when he switched away from Edmonton, but I think he was playing his best hockey that we've seen him play when he's playing with with, with Joel. So I, I think that's a, a combination that we got to get back to. Um, you know, you look at Cooley as a lefty, Merrill's a lefty, I believe, um, and and now Gustafson. Um, you know, it's going to be interesting to see the combinations they put together. Um, I, I think you got to get Merrill and, and Gustafson in the lineup and see what they can do in playing with some guys and and see what works and see what doesn't. Um, you know, the way I look at it, I think, you know, as long as Montreal absolutely doesn't tank the last bit of the season here, I think that they're a lock to make the playoffs. So, um, you know, you got to find combinations that work right now. So it's good to play around with some things. With everything that's been updated, we've got, I mean, the shortest person we have right now on the team in defense is six feet high. For the first time in so long, we have a strong defensive core. And I mean, the, 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 the weight, like 195 pounds. That's the, the smallest that we have. So it's going to be good for the first time to have some weight and some height at defense. Yeah, I think when you look at the way they're going to have to play, um, you know, that they're not going to outscore anybody in the first round. Um, they're going to need carry to come in and absolutely steal some games. So, um, you know, you, you got to make it hard on guys. You look at the Jets, you look at Toronto. Um, you know, when I, when I watched the game on Saturday, um, you got to find a way to slow down Winnipeg. It was like globe trotting through the neutral zone, just flying around Montreal. So, you know, when you get these big, strong defensemen, it's hard to play against. You get into playoffs, um, you know, the, the refs kind of let things go a little more. There's a little more clutch and grabbing. It's a little more physical. Let's say you start to turn a series, you're obviously not going to outskill anybody. Um, so, the, you know, you got to find ways to win one, two nothing games, have Kerry stand on his head and and try your best to take away all those second chances where we're, you know, teams are bearing rebounds and and uh, and stay out of the box. Don't let teams on the power play, and uh, and I think that's going to be your recipe for success when you get in the playoffs.